Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing great. This is a part 3 video of free and open source applications that can replace the default or play store applications which are not open source. You will get more privacy and less tracking if you start using these applications in your Android device. So let's get started. I will start this video with an email application known as Pretty Easy Privacy which provides an extra security to your emails. You would be able to add your Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo or any other emails without any issues. This email client provides an end-to-end -end encryption to your emails just like Signal Messenger does it for your message. Setting up your account is very easy and you just need to log in using your email ID and password. If you are planning to use this application, you might find it a bit complex in the beginning but please take your time to go through the settings as there are a lot of them. One simple option I would like to mention here is the background synchronization which would be turned off by default. You can simply tap on this three dot menu on the top and go to settings then go to advanced settings and enable background sync. I would also like to let you guys know that this application is available for iOS. So if you are using an iPhone or an iPad, you can give it a try. This application supports dark theme, provides you with an easy interface, has no advertisements and tracking features and is therefore a perfect replacement for your default email application. At number 3, we have a simple but a beautiful notes application with a material UI known as Shore. It is very less in size around 10 MBs and helps to take notes in a much better way. There are some predefined categories like what to do, what to watch, what to read or what to work on but you can always modify them based on your needs. To edit any section here, you can simply tap on that particular section, then tap on this three dot menu here and you have options to choose your favorite icon and color. If you want to add anything to any section here, for example, I will add something to this to-do list here. You can simply write anything and press confirm on your keyboard. Once you add anything, you can tap on it again and you will have options to add a remarks or you can change the section here or you can set a date and an alarm as well. Setting an alarm can be done just by selecting this bar at the bottom and to clear any alarm, you can just tap on this clear button at the top. And one thing to note here is that the dark mode is not supported as of now, but we can expect that in the future updates. At number 4, we have a simple, minimal and an open source clock, which has almost the same functions you will find in any default clock application. It lets you set the alarm, it has a timer and a stopwatch as well. There are some interesting features present in this application like the alarm will ring even when the phone is switched off, which works on Snapdragon phones only shake and flip action to dismiss or postpone the alarm. It also has a swipe functionality to delete alarm. And there are power and volume button functions as well. You can access all these features in the application settings and you would also get two simple widgets if you like to keep widgets on your home screen. The last application in today's list is an open source download manager known as Download Navi. This application would be really helpful in case of some custom ROMs which do not have any download manager present by default. Not only custom ROMs, you can install this in a normal device as well. This application has a material based design and supports dark theme. There are some other interesting features like Android TV and Chrome OS support. You get a well categorized main interface for videos, APK files or documents and you can access the browser directly. You have options like changing the number of simultaneous downloads or the browser related settings apart from other interesting features. This is a recommended application for you guys, so make sure to give this one a try. So that's all for today's video and I hope this video was helpful for you. And please check the video description for all the download links. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you are interested in trying some other open source applications, you can take a look at my other videos as well. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you soon in my next video.